Minister Pork was joined by secretaries for Treasury, DPE and custodians of MRDC and Kumul Petroleum Holdings. He says 3 million kina has been allocated to complete clan vetting in PDL 1, 7 and the Angori fields. The state team will begin this process this week. But the people who are supposed to benefit are not benefiting because of the fact that the clan wedding exercise or the identification has not been completed. That is why when I become a minister in this Minister of Petroleum, I am determined to ensure that our people benefit. The only form of benefit that our people will benefit is in terms of royalties and equities. The only royalties and equities can only be paid when we identify the landowners in the clan vetting exercise. According to Minister Polk, all court proceedings that have stopped the clan vetting process have been withdrawn. He says once the process is complete for pipeline areas, the brownfields will be next. Jua will also be considered as there was no social mapping. I'm so happy to announce that today we will, we will, we will sign all the pipeline segments and in a few weeks time we will sign the brownfields and on Thursday I'm pretty sure when we go to Jawa we will be ready. I'm pretty sure PDL 1 and PDL 7 are ready. I'm pretty sure Angora is ready for us to complete this exercise and give to the people and our people who are waiting to die what they deserve before. Meanwhile, Minister Pork made a bold statement that clan vetting must be done before any negotiations of any oil and gas projects. This will also be stipulated in the new Oil and Gas Act, which is under review. For future development purposes, for future oil and gas projects, I want to state here clearly that the landowner exercise must be done first. The gas development will come later. Because once it flows out, the people must benefit. The minister and stakeholders signed the ministerial determination for the process to begin. Jack Lepava, Jr. National, MTV News.